Hi guys, thanks for following Pour Over Parchment so far. Um, today I'm going to give you a book review of Before You Leap by Les Lina. Um, it's a... Sorry, my cat in the background. <laughs> it's a young adult and sci-fi novel about two boys whose um, past and future kind of culminate into an um, intriguing and hilarious friendship. Uh, the concept of the story is really creative. It's about a boy named LX who time travels back to 1995 to meet this kid Sean, who you later realize is a descendant, um, LX is a descendant of his. He ends up posing as girls that Sean would have a high school crush on, and as the plot continues, Sean gets caught between the two separate realities that LX has created. Um, I thought it was really funny, but I'm torn between giving it three and a half and four stars. I had a really hard time getting started, and um, but the way the book opens, it's really dry, kind of hard to read, um, but um, it's, it's a little bit hard to get through, but it essentially is what leads to a basic um, understanding of the plot. While I enjoyed the imagination that went into this book, there were many times where I felt like the author over-explained. Um, some of his concepts were really great, they were really cool, but some were a little bit confusing and I felt like he tried too hard to really drive the point home. I'd have to say that his target audience is probably high schoolers and men, although I did enjoy reading it as a 20-something female. Uh, the end of the book was tied up nicely. Um, there were no plot holes or unresolved issues. But if I'm being totally honest, I don't have much desire to read the next, um, the next book. Not that I don't think I would enjoy it, but there was no hook at the end of book one to leave me feeling like I really had to read the next one, you know? I'll put the link in the description below. Um, there are a couple other things I wanted to tell you about over on our Pour Over Parchment blog page. We're doing a giveaway, it's a $5 Amazon gift card. Once we hit a thousand likes, we're so close, a uh, thousand likes, thousand followers, um, we'll do that giveaway. And then also starting this week, I believe today or tomorrow, we're going to be part of a really, really big author. Um, springtime, I think it's the springtime reading, uh, spring to reading giveaway, um, or event, spring to reading event. Um, there's also a t-shirt, or a couple t-shirts that I'm really excited about, um, and those are up on our Facebook page as well. I think there's eight days left in the tea chip campaign. If you want to head over, support our page, would appreciate that. Um, the next book I'll be reviewing is going to be The Last Night by Heather Kirchhoff. I hope I pronounced her last name right. Um, I'm really excited about that one. The cover looks really, really cool. So I have a couple other books that I wanted to mention. Knowing Your Value, I'm probably not going to do a review on it, um, but it was, it was a really good book. I just finished. Um, I'm still in grad school, so I'm trying to read like a couple couple books that I think will help me like in a career eventually, how to represent those people, pretty good book. And then I also wanted to mention The Mill again. Um, I did a review on it I think a month ago, a month and a half ago. I think I heard a rumor that she's coming out with another one. It's by JDH. Um, yeah, so I will leave the links to these two books and the book by Les Lynam in the description. Um, feel free to check them out. Um, and I will also leave a link to the our Facebook page and our blog, which should have the whole written review for Les Lynam on there. Thanks for watching our blog. Stay tuned for another video every, I don't know, every week or so. <laughs> Bye! Thank you!